looking at my trailer here, you can see I got a ball on the back. You might think this is totally illegal. But it's actually not totally illegal, it's just mostly illegal. So this hitch here is actually one of these universal hitches for an RV. It's definitely not meant to go on a trailer. Like, it's fucking meant for something else completely entirely. And even then, it's not even a hitch to pull a trailer. This thing has fuck all to attach chains to. So we're going to change that today. <sighs> oh, fuck, it turns out I'm retarded. Take my old hitch here. So, in Canada, well, at least in Ontario, you are allowed to pull a trailer with your trailer, as long as, I think, both vehicles, vehicle, trailer, trailer, you're less than 70 feet long. I'm not, I don't really know. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of shit. Now, technically, you're supposed to have your safety chains on the hitch, but we're actually going to put it on this guy. So I actually cut something today. Now, not a lot of people know this, and you wouldn't expect this from the way that I talk and shit in all my other videos, but I'm actually a laser photonics engineer. And anyway, I was working on this laser that was pretty sick, and I had to do some test pieces, so I had got this big chunkus of 5 eighths here. And I cut this kind of shape. Let's see if I did a good job. Oh yeah, that fits right on there. So, what we got to do is get the, the uh, Angry Pixies to her. I'm going to shove some of that uh, l liquid hot metal there onto that. Now, uh, you don't have to fucking tell me that this is not the way that it's supposed to be. I actually know that this is not supposed to be on the ball. This is supposed to be, well, on the hitch itself. But anywho, listen, if this hitch comes flying off while you're towing something... Brother, just just go fucking sit down. Go sit in the truck. You, Because you're fucking doing something else wrong here. If something like that happens to you, some kind of catastrophic failure like that. Oh, fuck, we got lots of clearance. All I gotta do is weld that. Weld this shit onto that there, right there. Piece of cake. As you can see, my fucking garage has come a long way. It's got nice and clean. So some of my chums are asking, oh, fuck, it's always the fucking wrong disc. Some of my fucking homies will ask me sometimes why I have, you know, cheap tools or why do I use Mastercraft and shit. And what I like to tell them is, for me, tools are fucking consumable. I don't care what color it is, what name it says on it. If you put a tool in my hand, I'm most likely going to wear it out. I'm going to break it. I'm going to find some way to fuck it, fuck it right half and two. So... I buy tools, like this grinder I think was a hundred dollars, no battery, <sighs> fuck it, uh, it doesn't matter if you put a four hundred dollar one in my hand, I'm still going to break it anyway. <laughs> actually used it quite a lot and I've gone a long way with it. Check out that fucking sassy push bar I put on the Honda Ferrari. If I get this here Chinesium welder. I actually really love this Chinesium welder. It says it's got a capacity of 3 16th steel. Honestly, there's been nothing as of yet that I haven't been able to weld with it. You can kind of tell by the texture on my trailer. You can kind of see that this trailer, she's, uh, Kind of double duties as a welding table. I'll try and save some of that by using this. I had this out because I had my my mom over the other day changed her oil. Boy, it's fancy working on them Japanese cars. Barely enough room to get my actual man-sized hands into anything. All right, let's see if we can make those two pieces into one piece. This is not going to be a welding tutorial. Because, I don't know, I just put pull the trigger on the gun and just cross my fingers that the metal sticks together. Now this here regular wall gas welder, 120 volter, is definitely not rated to weld 5.8 steel. Fuck. What we're going to do, we're going to just fuck off. I'm going to turn these fucking dials all the way up as far as she'll go. 
got two dials here, the old uh, wire feed and power here. We're just going to fucking crank these right up here. Oh. Damage. The breaker. Son of a bitch. This little flux core box, let me tell you, freaking really like this. Anybody can use this. Anybody can weld pretty well anything. <laughs> ah, freaking COVID-19. Oh, fuck, the heat that transferred through that fucking thing. Well, that's just a fucking skookum choocher right there. Just needs a little trim clad. Now, you could go over that with the hammer gimmick. I, I do have a welding hammer, but it's all the way over there. Oh, yeah. Just put the hand tight to this guy here. That's all you really need. safety chains on there. I mean, this thing, it's never going to come off of there. Like, it's there forever. <laughs> 